I have a 1956 Pez space ray gun. This is interesting. I'm sure that got discontinued <laughs> pretty quick. So what are you looking to do with it? I want to sell it. Can I take a look at it? Absolutely. Awesome. So I think you've got a legit space gun from 1956. Well, I appreciate you coming cool. to shake my hand and say yes. Deal. So do you know where my Pez dispenser's at? If there's a Pez dispenser missing in the store, I would start with the guy who owns the candy store across the parking lot. Which is Chum, yeah. Is that my Pez gun? It's a Pez gun. Why is it over here? It looks so much better in here, Rick. You know what? I'm just going to take 400 bucks out of your paycheck. Wait, can I get it for 300? In the candy bar, I get that too. Lame. Good day, folks. Today we will show you Pawn Stars buying rare weapons. We got here is a vintage hat carrier and a vintage top hat. But what's really unique and awesome about this piece is what's on the inside. This is a pistol here that is named and engraved to Francis Tumblety, who they believe was, was Jack, Jack the, the Ripper. Ripper. Exactly. How much you want for it? Fifteen thousand dollars on this piece. Where are you gonna find another one? A percussion cap box lock pistol with a turn off barrel. So it was just one shot. So can we shoot it tomorrow? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's obviously got issues. Oh, I don't think <laughs> it's just poor accuracy to me. Flintlock clutches pistols. A guy walks into the shop with something pretty out there. I got these crutches here that I wanted to kind of check out. They're not only crutches, they have like a pistol on them. How much you want for these things? I have no clue what they were. I have a buddy who will know all about this stuff. Okay. So. So they are flintlock. Wow, that is so cool. So basically, you would have it here. It would be loaded, kind of bring it up and fire. That is so cool. So what do you think it's worth? I'd really like to test fire. Let's do it. Rick is very good at negotiating and he's able to make a deal for 15 grand. You ready to fire these things? Yeah, I think we are. So go ahead and put on your eyes and ears. All right, you ready, chum? I'm gonna need that raise. That's how it's done. What do you think they're worth? You get the right auction, 25,000 for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what will you take for them? I want 25 grand. So I'll give you 10 grand. Let's go 20. Can we go 20? I'll give you 13 grand. 15. You know what? I'll risk it at 15. Yeah, that sounds All good. Right. Thank you. Seven barrel gun. A customer called the shop and she has a knock volley gun. I have never seen one of these in person. That is a big oh. gun. I've actually never seen one in person, only behind some glass in a museum. They were just pure insanity. It's a shotgun on a lot of drugs. So have you fired this thing? I have not. They were designed actually for British warships. Seven barrels had a tremendous amount of recoil and the guys were actually dislocating their shoulders. Flame that came out of the end of this was like 12 feet long. So they were setting their own ships on fire. Prize jump actually hit the target. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Good luck, chum. <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. What do these things go for? Thirty-five to forty thousand dollars. I mean, what's your best price on it? Thirty-eight for it. I'll give you twenty-eight for it. I think that's a little bit low. How about thirty? You know what? I'll give you the thirty grand for it. I think I made a great deal. I'm a little bit giddy over this gun. I think I'll get close to forty thousand for it. Nineteen fifty-six Pez space ray gun. Sometimes it's seven barrel guns. Some other times it's just a nineteen fifty-six Pez space ray gun. I have a nineteen fifty-six Pez space ray gun. This is interesting. How would you use it? So it has this little piece right here. The cartridge comes out, and then you just put that down like so. And whenever you would pull the trigger here, the uh, Pez would shoot out the actual front of the gun. I'm sure that got discontinued <laughs> pretty quick. So what are you looking to do with it? I want to sell it. What are you looking to get? I'm asking $500. There was a massive influx of counterfeit and fake Pez dispensers. Mind if I have my buddy Steve come down and take a look? Absolutely. When the expert comes in, he says it's worth about 450 bucks. So Corey offers 250 for it, and he's a good negotiator. Can I take a look at it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Overall, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. You have your gun permit. So I think you've got a legit space gun from 1956. These are really desirable. I think you guys would have no problem getting $450 for it. Well, I appreciate you coming. Cool. Oh, about 250 bucks. How about $400? Shake my hand and say yes. 300 smiles, shake your hand. <laughs> Deal. Well, Chum ended up buying it to put it in his candy store across the street. So do you know where my Pez dispenser's at? If there's a Pez dispenser missing in the store, I would start with the guy who owns the candy store across the parking lot. Which is Chum, yeah. Is that my Pez gun? It's a Pez gun. Why is it over here? It looks so much better in here, Rick. You know what? I'm just gonna take 400 bucks out of your paycheck. Wait, can I get it for 300? Nope, in the candy bar, I get that too. Lame. Remington New Model Army. This is a Remington New Model Army. The second most common used 44 in the Civil War. Cool gun. Do you know when this was manufactured? 1864. 
And this is a really good one. The outside shows a little wear, but if you look in the bore, the bore's like a mirror. I mean, it's in pretty good shape. Go ahead, you know, call in someone, you know, let some crazy guy come in here and tell you what I already know. Okay, I'll do that. Rick, that's the gun. A Remington New Model Army. I know they make a lot of reproductions of them. Yeah, they actually make more reproductions of this gun than they made original ones. You know, this gun has not been, in my opinion, refinished, and it's in great shape. You see the Remington nomenclature here? 32952. So in my opinion, this gun is authentic in every way. So he was able to make a deal for $1,600. As it sits, the price would be retail $2,000. Okay. So you want to give me $2,000? No, $1,500. So we're going to kind of do this little dance here again. $1,900. No, $1,500 is a fair price. Oh, I did pay $1,700 for it. $1,600. I'll lose $100 on it. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. Francis Tumbledi's top hat and concealed pistol. What we got here is a vintage hat carrier and a vintage top hat. But what's really unique and awesome about this piece is what's on the inside. This is a pistol here that is named and engraved to, and then the engraving matches right here on the side of the... Uh, that is Francis Tumblety. Who they believe was, was Jack, Jack the, the Ripper. Ripper. Exactly. How much you want for it? $15,000 on this piece. Where are you going to find another one? Do you mind if I have someone take a look at all this stuff? Absolutely not. A percussion cap box lock pistol with a turn-off barrel. So it was just one shot. All right, so what's it worth? So with no association, the Tumblety, it's probably $2,000. With the association, the Tumblety, times that by five. So can we shoot it tomorrow? Absolutely. They still have to try the gun out, and I'm jealous. Oh, here yeah. we go. Nice. It's obviously got issues. I don't <laughs> think that's just poor accuracy to me. So what do you think it's worth? And the fact that the gun works perfectly, 10,000. Thanks, man. Hey. I'll give you five grand. Dude, you got to step it up. Right, no 5,100. Dude, you got to step it up more than that. All right, I'll give you six grand. It's more than fair. Nine grand. Have a nice day. I'll see you. 7,500. 6,500 bucks. 7,250. I'll give you 7,200 bucks. All right, I'll let you win this time. All right, deal? Nickel plated pistols. A guy comes up to Chum with a couple of Scottish profession pistols from the 1840s, and they look beautiful. Yeah, I got a pair of Scottish percussion pistols, 1840s. They look pretty cool. I've heard about these before. How much are you looking to get? Low 8,000 range. There's a lot of wear on them. This handle used to be nickel plated at one time from what it looks like. Barrels they have rust and even pitting. I'm going to have to call them. Uh, my gun expert, Alex Down. Okay. Very nice saw-handled pistols. The name on them. So that would be Alexander Henry, the most famous gun maker during the Victorian era. What kind of value do you put on these? The condition of them really drags the value down. What brings the value back up, Alexander Henry's name. At auction, five to 6,000. Good luck, Bill. Thank you. They were able to make the dance and seal the deal for 3,300. Well, how much would you like to get for him? 42. Would you take 28 for him? No, oh, 3,500 bottom. I can do 33, but I can't go down. I'm higher. I'll accept your deal on a handshake. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go over here and write them up. Nepalese beer gun. What exactly is this? This is an original Nepalese beer gun. Say, I've never actually seen one of these. Pretty amazing. Less than 25 around. I mean, the machining looks nice. And how much do you want for it? $30,000. Let me call up a friend. Let me get him down here. So if everything checks out with the date, can you take this out to the firing range tomorrow? We can. This is nice. This is an amazing piece. So they're completely legal to own. This fires only with each crank. Cool. Oh, I'd love to see this thing shot. They take it to the firing range the next day and it shoots amazingly. Look at this. Now this pan magazine holds 120 rounds of this ammunition, which I brought today. And look at the size of that round. And I have never seen one fire. All righty. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I've never loved a gun so much. What's it worth? 27,500. So what's your best price on this thing? 30,000. I'll give you 18 grand for it. 26. 20,000 is most I can do. I can do 20,000. All right, sweet. 1800s antique rifle. This guy brings up to Rick no less than an 1800s antique rifle. I got a little something I think you'd be interested in. Lovely 1800s rifle. Okay. Have you had this checked out by anybody? Nope. It definitely looks Colt-ish. How much you want for it? 10,000. I don't think that because I don't think it's a Colt, but I know a guy who knows a guy. I'll be right back. Hey, Alex, here is the Colt-ish rifle. That's right. You know what I think this is? This is a Springfield Arms Company's attempt at uh, a revolving rifle. Didn't Colt have all the patents on that? That's the very issue. Because it was stopped in the first year of production, they're tremendously rare. Could you fire this? I would like to fire it. From a bore standpoint, I think we could fire it. Right. I think in theory, it would be safe to fire. Can we go to the range? I mean, could you meet us there tomorrow? Absolutely. They took it to the range and fired it, so that made it a $20,000 gun. All right, we're gonna shoot this thing. <laughs> 
what do you think it would sell for? I mean, they're, they're never on the market. It's a twenty thousand dollar gun. Okay, well, thanks, man. All right. So yeah, ten grand, no problem. How about we start at twenty? What's your best price? Seventeen thousand. I'm thinking more like twelve. Would you do fifteen? But I'll do fourteen thousand. All right, I can do fourteen. Fourteen thousand. That's a deal, man. We'll do a bunch of paperwork. I'll get you paid. Awesome. Okay. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit the like and subscribe buttons, hit that notification bell for more videos like this, and share this video with your family and your friends. See you soon.